Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to start Season 2. I've been excited to start another season here in Subsistence. Um, you guys will be seeing this probably a day or two after the last episode of Season 1 uh, comes out. Um, I myself will actually be out of town for, for that week, and so the first few episodes that we're going to do in Season 2 are going to be pre-recorded. However... I'm going to try not to get uh, as far ahead of you guys um, in Season 2 as, as I did in Season 1. I just enjoyed the game so much I can't, couldn't stop playing it. Uh, but I'll try and not you know, get so far ahead so that way comments are a little bit more current. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and jump in and enjoy this game once again. So we're going to start a new profile here. Um, we're going to keep things on normal. I did consider hardcore, but I mean this game is hard enough as it is on normal. It, it's just an extremely difficult one of the most challenging survival games i've ever played on normal i i might try hardcore at some point in time uh, but I, I you know i'm not interested in doing that right now i guess uh if you're curious pause the screen and you can see what hardcore does and i think that's <laughs> that's just gonna be a little bit too much so we are gonna go uh with normal we're we are gonna of course keep the hunters able we are gonna keep them on normal so we get periodic uh attacks so that's pretty much going to be the same setup, um, just because, you know, that's part of the challenge of this game. Uh, we are going to start, let's go ahead and start actually in April, so it's just a little bit warmer. And we're going to go back to our 60-day years, which is the the number that I uh, that we used in like year two and three of season one. And I like that, you know, that time frame. Uh, okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and start season two. Looking forward to this. Now, what we're going to do here in Season 2 is we're going to actually live on the island in uh, on Birchwood Lake. That's the south lake of the island. It's not the most practical place for us to, to uh, have a base, but, wow, they started us right by the fence. Look at that. But uh, it's just a very picturesque location, and uh, it's something that... I, I just wanted to do for season two and then if we do a season three I got another uh, place in mind uh, that's going to be up north uh, but we will start uh, in season two with this South Lake location and uh, I, again it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt in some ways you know more from a practical look at that stuff uh, standpoint but I think that um, oh wait a minute I'm, this is my inventory. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought that's the stuff that was in the box. I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't played in about a month and a half or so, so it'll, it'll probably take me an episode or two to get totally back into the swing of things. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, that's where, that's where we're going to base up uh, for this season and um, just have some fun and, you know, focus more on, on building a nicer base than we did in Season 1. You know, I was in the cave in Season 1. And, you know, I just, I didn't like it. it. It worked out okay, but in the long run, but I want to actually build a full-blown base in a nice location and not be stuck in a cave this time. So, yeah. All right, let's get rolling here. So we're going to do the usual. We're going to run around and uh, look for crates. We're, you know, nails are super, super important in the very early game here. We need to find them for building and for making arrows and that sort of thing. And we want to make sure we're moving towards the south lake uh, which i think we are well let's take a look at the map and see if we can figure out exactly where we are well i can't really tell exactly where i am we know we're up against the the eastern fence though uh or we were close to it anyway so i think just by looking okay there's the mountain over there i think by just looking around well no there's a mountain over that way too Let's stay along the fence until I, you know, get a little bit better idea of where exactly I'm at here. Because I'm, I guess I'm not 100% sure. We might be a little further north than I originally thought. So we'll cut some wood and, uh, you know, be real careful, of course, to avoid predators in the early part of the game and look for crates, which is what you do. In this game oh look at that we got some arrows already how about that and some shotgun shells not that those are going to do us any good for a little bit uh let's also make sure this crappy pistol is loaded it is a crappy pistol but it's all we got right now until we can uh you know make ourselves a bow and some arrows for that bow 
Okay, so we are heading south, so at least we're going in the right direction. Uh, again, I'm just not sure exactly where we're at. We might actually be fairly close to the South Lake. Well, let me go. Let's look over on this uh, ridge here and kind of down into this valley here. Okay, so... Yeah, I think uh, I think we're on the right track. So let's just keep going this way and look for... You know, we might actually be by the... Oh, what the hell is it called? There's a uh, an, ar an arch. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of in this area. I think that's where we're at, but I'm still not 100% positive. Okay, let's do this. Can we uh, make... Let's make some cordage. And we don't have we gotta get a lot more <laughs> plant fiber for that. And we'll make some sticks so that we can then make a bow. I'm sure gonna miss my level three uh recurve bow that we had in season two. I I love that thing, man. And our guns, you know, our guns were good too. The double barrel shotgun, lever action rifle, all that stuff. We were doing pretty good with that stuff, but man, we gotta start all over again. But that's part of the fun. I keep forgetting, too, I don't have to hold shift down to sprint. I just have to tap it. It's a toggle, which I'm not used to. I've been playing a lot of Icarus lately. Oh, I'm just loving that game, too. And uh, so all my muscle memory at the moment is tuned into Icarus. <laughs> okay, there is a level 3 wolf over there. Let's kind of keep an eye on him. He will wreck our day if he comes over here. This is a grub tree, so we want to... Okay, we got the grub. Let's get out of here. We are not ready to be messing with any predators right at the moment. As soon as we can get a bow and some arrows going, you know, then we can start going after rabbits and chickens. Okay, we got a crate here. Good. Some feathers, which we can use to make some more arrows. That's always a good thing. A little scrap metal. Uh, we do have to be careful about, you know, not looting too many things until we get a base going with some storage because we have limited storage space. Uh, so, you know, we just have to not go overboard, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I keep seeing the ore over there and thinking, oh, I got to go mine that ore. But no, we can't do that yet because we do not have a pick. That'll come in, in a little while. We don't get the pick right off the bat. So part of this is just going to be, you know, me acclimating myself to back to the early game again because it's been such a long time since I've, you know, played this in the early game. Uh, we are definitely in the, the right place, though, was, so that's really good. This is um, Birchwood Lake. Birchwood, the Birchwood Forest is over that way, so we're in the right location. So we'll just keep picking this stuff and move towards the island that we're going to live on. So here again, this is not going to be a, a very practical place to live, but it's going to be a fun place to live. Uh, we're going to focus more. It's my plan in season two to focus more on building a nicer base. Um, and, you know, that's why I'm choosing this location, because I think it's a really neat location to have a base. You know, who wouldn't want to have a place to live on an island out in the middle of a mountain lake? Sounds awesome. But it is out in the middle of a lake, A, and it's way on the, you know, south uh, eastern part of the map. So we're going to have, have a lot of traveling to do. The other thing, too, is that, you know, I'm not sure exactly how the hunters are going to handle us being... Should I try and catch that chicken? There was a bear up that way. Um, out on the water like that. I mean, you know, when they come to attack us, for example, will they be able to swim to us or... You know, what's the deal with that? Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, it's super risky chasing chickens in the early game because... 
they like to run you into the predators, little bastards. There's a bear up that way. Let's just run along the shore here and head out to our island. I don't think any critters actually spawn on that island. Maybe they do. I don't I don't know. So yeah, it's going to be a bit of a hassle, but hopefully, you know, in the long run, it'll be worth it. Cuz yeah, we are very much on the edge of the the map here in the southeast. Okay, so what I'm pl thinking about doing or planning on doing actually is, you know, this isn't going to happen right away, of course. Uh, but what I'm planning on doing is building a a bridge across the lake, you know, to make it easier for us to, to get back and forth. Now, in the wintertime, of course, won't be a big deal because we can just run across the lake. But um, in the summer, you know, or when we don't have you know the lake frozen and whatnot, um, then it's going to be a thing. Um, I think, I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think the hunters can swim. So when they do try and come and attack us until the bridge is in place anyways, they'll probably just swim out here. Once the bridge is in place, um, assuming their AI is smart enough to actually use it instead of swim, which I would not at all <laughs> bet money on. Um, but it, it, if they are, you know, then that makes the bridge then a choke point that we can use, you know, to our advantage when we're defending. But here again, my guess is that there's probably one of three things that'll happen, okay? They either aren't, can't swim at all, which if that's the case, then, you know, we definitely are going to want to build a bridge because I'm. it's not my intention. Living out here, you know, I'm not doing this because I want to cheese the AI. That's not it at all. I'm living out here because I think this is going to be a neat spot to live. So if that's the case, you know, we need, we need to get the bridge built as soon as possible so they can get to us. Or B, they'll just swim in the water to get to us, which is, um, you know, probably what's going to happen. Or C, um, you know, they will be smart enough to, well, smart's a relative term, <laughs> to path on the bridge once we get it in place, in which case we can use that to our advantage, like I said, uh, to defend. So we'll just have to see what happens when the time comes. But this is where we're going to live. This is where we're going to live. Uh, one thing I love and hate about this game at the same time is that you can't cut trees down. It's great because all these trees will always be here for us and part of the scenery. We don't ever have to worry about them, uh, you know, getting knocked over by windstorms or lightning storms, Icarus. <laughs> and we ourselves won't accidentally ever knock them down. But by the same token, um, you know, there are we can't do anything about moving them. So if they happen to be in the way, then, you know, too bad. <laughs> so anyway, um, we'll just, you know, we'll work around it. So that, that's what we'll do. Okay. So that is pretty much it for the resources. Now the, the challenge we're going to have right at the moment is do we have enough nails to build a platform? Let's take a look and see. We have enough nails. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut cut the wood now these trees will respawn twice I believe it's twice a day so if we you know if we come out and harvest them first thing in the morning and then you know again later on in the afternoon then we'll always be able to get two uh, harvests I guess is the right word of wood from them which will help but you know obviously we can't stay here all the time because the bread and butter of this game is looting the crate, so we're always going to have to go out and get those. But let's see if we can, if we have enough stuff at the moment to at least get the first platform going. And then it's kind of a matter of after that of how long to wait until. I think that that must have just re or spawned in because I don't think I would have missed it until we decide to put the BCU down because you know. Once you do that, for those of you who aren't familiar with this game, uh, then the hunters start coming in like a day or two later. Uh, but you're very limited to what you can do uh, without a BCU in terms of what you can build, you know, so you, you need to eventually get one. So the first question now that I have to ask myself, uh, let's turn some of this wood into planks. How many do we need? We need a total of five. Okay. 
um, is you know where we're gonna how we're gonna actually start the base. So this rock is fairly high up in the air. So do we want to build up high enough to where our foundations will cover the rock? Um, or do we not want to build on the rock and we kind of start building down here instead? Or maybe we do like a multiple level type of setup. Uh, that's a possibility as well. Hmm. Okay, if we do the multi-level setup, then we could probably start the, the first foundation right about here. Um... And then, you know, we're going to have to, like I said, we have to build around the trees. I don't particularly want the trees to come through the base. So I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to basically survey this a little bit in my mind as to how this base is going to look. So we could do that just spawned in right there, that piece of metal. Uh, we could do like a, a lower level in this space here. You know roughly like that and then we could do an upper level that would go up high enough to clear the top of this rock and have it kind of go around this way and then if we wanted to maybe make even like a little third greenhouse type of building out here maybe just some ideas and you know nothing set in stone at the moment but that's that's kind of what i think maybe we'll do that's kind of what I'm thinking maybe we'll do. Um, or, instead of building on that end, we could build on this end. Now, we do have more room, actually, on this side than that, than that side. And this rock is not quite as high. Is that a crate that just spawned in? Man, this guy runs so slow compared to... Icarus. <laughs> it's just like I feel like I've been freaking trying to run through Jello or something. I don't know. Just have to get used to it, I guess. Yeah, there there is more space here. If we built over here, I'd want to clear the tops of this vegetation. I cannot stand, you know, vegetation sticking through the floor of our of our base. But there, like I said, there's just more room on this end of the island, so. Uh, maybe that's what we should do. Okay. Well, all right. I'll tell you what, then. Let's do this. We could have the house kind of come around here, run out to here, and then go this way. We could even maybe do like an, an L-shaped house. That would be something a little, little different. Um, I want to do something more than just... A box you know what I mean so we could do an L shape we could maybe build a, a little deck out here for fishing and diving and stuff like that and then have an a higher you know part kind of coming out this way hmm I like that idea actually I like that idea okay well anyway let's go ahead and craft this we gotta get a plat we gotta get a platform going here and what does this require Uh, yeah, we don't have enough nails um, for, to make this, but we do want to make one of these as soon as possible because we need a storage crate. There we go. Look at that. Our first foundation. What do you know? Okay, that doesn't skip. That's right. That does, The scroll wheel doesn't uh, skip. Uh, blank. Uh, what am I trying to say? On the toolbar. Blank things on the toolbar. Okay, so... We want to make sure we're, we're clearing the the top of this stone here um, at, you know, at the highest point, which is going to be right about there. Uh, but let's look this way because I want to be also going the right direction on the island. If we're going to do the L idea, the L shape idea, probably right about there's what we want. Okay. That should be high enough to clear the clear the stone. Okay, look at this you guys, our very first platform. Yay us. 
All right, now, next order of business here is um, uh, we need to this. We need to make a campfire. Okay, so we need four sticks. Now, the thing that's going to be a pain in the butt early on is trying to keep this fire going, um, you know, because it, run, it runs out real quickly. But, yeah, that's just what we have to work with. And then if it rains, you know, the fire will go out too. But, of course, you know, as soon as possible, we'll start working on getting um, a, uh, you know, a, a covering in place. Oh, we got, like, this little tutorial over here. I forgot about that. Excuse me. Okay, cool. So I, I'm interested in making a fishing rod ASAP. and looks like we could probably do that almost right away. Um, and we can make a fire starter with these medicinal herbs. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. And we're just going to... We don't actually need to set him on the foundation. Or set it, rather. Can we just put it on the stone? It's going to be lopsided, but... You know what? Whatever. Okay. Okay. And then, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to make a biofuel out of the uh, medicinal herb thingamadoodles. And then from there we can make a fire starter. I don't think I'm going to light the fire yet, though. We're going to go back out and see if we can get a bow going so we can, you know, see if we can get a couple rabbits and chickens so we have some food. Very good. Okay, now for the fire starter... We have all of that stuff. Okay, so let's craft that. And then we're going to split this wood in half and put that... Uh, yeah, it took pretty much all of that. And there's the ignition there. Okay, what's the matter with me? Why did I just... Flash red like I got hurt for some reason. Oh, it's because I'm hungry. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and eat kelp and this and these. Uh, so that, that's going to get us in pretty good shape on fruits and vegetables, but we're going we're gonna to need to get some protein. Now, we could use this, but I'd kind of like to use that for fishing. So do I have enough fiber to make that? Oh, we, we can make four more sticks, so we make two at a time. And... Um, where do I make the bait? Oh, right here. So I think, yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough fiber. So let's focus first on trying to get ourselves a, a bow so that we can go after a rabbit or a chicken. And look at this. we got another crate that spawned in right here. That's beautiful. Okay, we've got more blueberries and more feathers. So that's good. And we're going to have to, of course, carry everything with us because we don't have any way to store anything at the moment. Yeah, this game is, is very hard, <laughs> but it's enjoyable. It's a, it's a satisfying experience, um, you know, because the struggle's real. And so when you finally do accomplish something, you, you know, you really feel like uh, you earned it, so to speak. Okay, so we, we did put the fire starter in here, right? Yeah, we did. Okay. So it's got fuel. It's got a fire starter. We're good to go there. Uh, let's just eat that for now. And now we need to make cordage. So I think I'm going to turn everything that we have in terms of fiber into cordage right at the moment. And actually, we could make the fishing rod. And we might... We're going to need six and four. Uh, oh, and one. Wait a second. We have four. Yeah, six. We're going to need seven cordage in total. So we could actually probably make this work. If we could catch ourselves, you know, a big fish, that would be fantastic, like a salmon or something. But even a little fish would be better than nothing. So let's see if we can get, the, get this fishing pole thing going first. Very good. Okay, so let's craft, cue that up. And then we should be able to cue this up after we make 
uh, some more sticks. We got the grub. And we're still making a few more cordage. And then we'll see if we can catch a, a, a salmon would be ideal, or a pike or something. Uh, and then we can cook that up, and then we'll, then we'll take care of at least part of our protein. Okay, so in terms of time of day, it is mid-afternoon based upon where the sun is. So that's a consideration as well. Let me see if these... I don't think these trees would have respawned yet. Yeah, not yet. Because we didn't even start harvesting them until, you know, probably around noonish, I'm guessing. Or whatever time we arrived here. Okay. And then, um, after this stick here crafts, then we can make the tackle. And then we'll try our luck at catching a big fish. We have enough uh, medicinal herbs to make another uh, biofuel for a fire starter. Excellent. Okay, so as soon as that's done, we're going to try and catch ourselves a juicy fish. And good. Okay. So let's grab the rod here. I have to remember how to do this. Okay, so left mouse button for strike and right mouse button for reel in. It took me a while to get used to this when I first tried it because it seemed to me like it should be the other way around. I don't even know why. It just, that's what I felt like it should be. So we, I want to hit left mouse. Okay, we just got a bump there. Okay, looks like we just got a little one, but that's better than nothing. We'll have to go hit some more grub trees. Oh, no, that's a salmon. Oh, my goodness. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that's the good one. All right, nice. So let's go ahead and fillet that. That gives us two steaks and two oils. Let's cook those up. We need them, man. We need them. Yeah, it looked smaller than than it was. That is great. Oh, we got matches here too. Okay, let's put those in there. I forgot about that. Uh, we'll put those in there, and then you know that way we have another ignition source. Fan freaking tastic, man. That was lucky. <laughs> that was really lucky that we got to salmon right off the bat. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is, as soon as these are done cooking, is we're gonna swim across to that shore. And just look for a few more crates and gather a few more resources before it gets too, you know, super dark on us. Uh, and then we can't, you know, see anything. So we have to wait until these are fully cooked. I mean, we don't have to, but we get the most nutrition from them once they are. All right, that was fully cooked. And let's eat it. And that bumps up our protein quite a ways. And we'll eat this one too. And that gets us over half, which isn't bad, you know, considering early game and all that, right? And then while we're here, let's go ahead and drink that and then refill this. Higher quality meals give a better boost. Yep, they sure do. All right, let's just leave that canteen there. Um, I want to top this off with... Uh, that just to keep it going and let's just see if we can get a little bit more looting in before it gets too dark so we're just going to swim across the way here there's a bear on the shore over there so we want to of course avoid him there's some more blueberries okay good so yeah that was very fortuitous that we caught that salmon right away i uh, i thought it was a smaller fish but obviously that was not the case you know we do have access to seaweed too so that's you a pretty good way to handle carbs in the early game um, you know as well as blueberries and stuff it's just the protein that's gonna be the the challenge boy by the time we get over here it might already be a little too dark but let's just try it anyway uh, we do have our blue light but 
It would not be wise for me to go traipsing around in the dark at this point. It's not usually a good idea to ever do that in this game, but especially not in the early game. When we have no way to defend ourselves. Yeah, it's uh it's like really dark. Um, okay, so yeah, let's keep grabbing plant fiber. Maybe we'll luck out and run into a couple more crates, but yeah, it's so it's too dark for me to see. Okay. Oh shit. And there's a level two something over there that will definitely want to eat our face. All right, you guys. Well, I think, <coughs> excuse me. I think we're going to wrap up uh, the first episode here. Um, I'm going to, while I'm over here, I'm going to harvest a little bit of wood and then head back over to the island and just, you know, kind of hunker down until morning. And then in the morning, you know, we'll go out and start looking for crates because that's really what we got to do in order to advance. We need those nails like crazy. Nails, fiber, wood. That's the that's what it's all about, baby. That's what it's all about. Um where okay, where's that level two something something? Oh, it's a bear. Yeah. And we're getting a bit cold too. Let's grab this tree. Um, for those of you who are new to this game too, you cannot escape animals in the water uh, by jumping in the water. They'll come right in after you and eat your face. So th this little area over here is actually pretty risky because there's not a lot of room to maneuver. The, the boundary of the map is just right up the hill there. So, all right, you guys. Well, um, it was a pretty good first episode, mostly because we didn't die. <laughs> So, yeah. And so I'm going to go back to the island, like I said, hang out, um, just stay warm by the fire. And when the morning comes, uh, we will go out and start looting. And hopefully by the end of tomorrow, we'll be able to at least have a roof over our heads, if not a completely enclosed starting structure. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. Remember, I am going to be gone. Um, for the first week that uh, when this episode comes out. Um, so these first few episodes will be pre-recorded, but like I said, I'm going to try not to get as far ahead of you guys this time around uh, as I did in Season 1. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. What did we get out of here? An apple. Yay. See ya.